In this video, we will talk about short form landing pages, when you should use them and some real world examples. Let's dive in. What are short form landing pages? Short form pages are a variant of landing pages that concisely deliver information about your offer. On the other hand, we have long form landing pages, which usually are lengthy versions of a regular landing page with more copy and elements. We'll talk more about long form landing pages in the future video. So when should you use short form landing pages? Short form landing pages are great when you have an easy to understand or low ticket item that is less technical, simple and affordable. So should you be selling using a short form landing pages? Yes, you can use a short form landing page to sell. But as always, it depends. Here, I want to introduce the concept of audience temperature. If your audience is completely cold and unaware of your product or service, a long form landing page is a better choice. However, if your audience is warm and already knows about your product or service, then yes, a short form landing page could work. Let's look at some examples. Short form landing pages, as we discussed, are great when the commitment or risk is low. So for example, offering a free ebook. Here's an example from Free Agent. On this page, they offer freelancers a simple guide in exchange for an email. As the ask is pretty low, the page doesn't talk more about Free Agent, but the focus is on the free resource. Let's now check this another example from Grammarly. Grammarly is targeting a warm audience already aware of their product. As I've signed up for Grammarly, I get regular emails to lure me into upgrading my account. In one of the emails, Grammarly sends out offers for a 60% discount. So if I click the CTA button in the email, I'm sent over to this landing page. Here, Grammarly offers a 60% discount on their yearly subscription. So in essence, they send out warm traffic who are people already aware about Grammarly, they understand the product and its features, and are just on the tipping point of buying, um, but are on the edge because they might be looking for a better price. So offering a one-time discount offer can help seal the deal. On this page, they focus more on the offer and less on educating the visitor on the benefits or features. So depending on your objective, you will need to have a short and sweet page. Here's a structure that might help. You will need a headline, which is engaging and attention grabbing. A subheading that talks about the overarching benefits of why somebody should engage. Some kind of graphic or a product shot and a single focus conversion goal, your main call to action with or without a form. And finally, some skim friendly benefits which are easy to read. I want to highlight one thing here. Short form doesn't just mean less copy. It means you've structured the page in a way that the copy doesn't come across as dull and is not made of long paragraphs. Here's a quick tip. Use modules to break the sections which look novel and don't look boring. So let's take our first example from Tony Robbins. Most of you might already know who Tony Robbins is, but those who don't, I would strongly recommend checking out his books and self-help programs. This is a lead gen page and here the aim is to capture first name, last name, email address and country. Let's tear down this page piece by piece. About the fold section. In the about the fold section, it has basically got one main part, which is the header, which has the heading, discover the CEO mindset. So it's targeting people who are interested in learning about CEOs. And ultimately the question is, what is the CEO mindset? Then the subheading tries to answer that by stating an insight look at the psychology and the pain points of today's business leaders. So basically it's a report which summarizes what's going on in the minds of CEOs in the US. So if you're interested in this report, you can download by clicking the CTA. And next up in, on the page includes the top five dangers which US business owners face followed by some scary stats like only 4% of all small businesses in the US will survive. Then we have two other sections which talk about the confidence in leadership and it includes some interesting facts. So let's say if you are interested in downloading this report and you might want to include it if you are writing a blog post or a magazine post or an article and you want to include some of these stats in your work, you can obviously download it by filling out this form. The page has a strong hook. However, 
uh, it has certain things which I would say we can improve. I would definitely remove these social media icons as I feel that um, these are distracting. I'll also check the readability of this text on this yellow section because um, when I tested it the using a contrast checker you can see it failed. I would also add some info on the background of Tony Robbins here. Although a visitor might come from the blog post having some info about him already but adding it here will build up trust and showcase authority. Next up is one of my favorite marketers, Alex Catoni. She has amazing valuable content on copywriting on her YouTube and blog site. You should definitely check her out. In one of her blog posts, she offers a hot offer checklist. It's a short form landing page and it's pretty short. Let's tear it down. Alex cleverly uses the about the fold to include quite a few things. A pre-header, a strong headline and a C-tier button. In the pre-header, it says 10 triggers that can help sell. And here, in this case, she's creating curiosity. In the headline, the focus is on the main claim. In the headline, the focus is on the main claim. Create an irresistible sales page offer. She cleverly adds color to make the hook stand out. Since Alex has a strong tribe, they don't need to be sold. So they will skip the rest and some of them will click the instant access button. Here, instant implies that you get it straight away. No waiting. In the next section, Alex uses a list of bullet items to talk about the benefits of downloading the checklist, followed by social proof of brands where she has worked with or some of her work where she has been showcased. And finally, we have a section about Alex and her tribe. There are lots of elements here which really make this short form landing page work, but overall it's targeting an audience who already know about Alex and follow her either on YouTube or read her blog posts. Let's now look at this last example from Amy Porterfield. Amy runs one of the top ranked business podcasts with over 250,000 subscribers. With a strong following, Amy offers great value through her various channels. In one of her short form landing pages, she offers a free webinar. Let's tear it down. In about the fold section, we see Amy's picture on the left with a header and a CTA. In the header, we have a pre-header, headline, subheading and a CTA. And finally, we actually have a coach mark stating it's free. So here the word free is highlighted twice. And the headline focuses on how to build a profitable email list, but it also draws attention on the emotion, which is a relaxed business owner. The subheading focuses on the behind the scenes of how Amy does it herself, and you can learn from her own experience. Next up, we have a section on social proof of brand logos followed by some more social proof in the shape of a full-blown testimonial. And in the next section, Amy actually sets out the tone by future pacing the elements of the masterclass, an overview of what's included and a bonus section where you can get another guide on how to get a quick subscriber boost. And finally, we have Amy's profile. Overall, it's a great landing page to draw signups to a webinar. What do you think of these great examples? Which one is your favorite? Comment below, is it Tony, Alex, or Amy? So there you have it, guys. Today we looked at short form landing page and some cool examples. Next time we will look at long form landing pages. And if you like this video today, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and press the like button. See you next time.